Now, I have to say, for the record, I was very disappointed that the young offenders didn't even give me like a small bit part because I do a perfect Cork accent. Like you do. Do you want to give us PJ another Gallers. bash of it? PJ Gallers from Dublin, like. Don't know what was going on there. I'll have to have a word with Hillary there, like she doesn't look after her own, like. Room to improve. It's been massive, particularly in Cork, right? Um, and you know something that every time we show a couple from Cork or, a, or anything from Cork, the audience love it. Yeah, so I think most of our audience are in Cork and they all. And rightfully so. And they all love watching themselves. <laughs> Once. Is there a bromance starting here? I know that you did Jason's house. I did Jason's house. He's, and he was very happy with it, so. Was happy? Is he unhappy now? Well, I tell you what's really weird that we're having the same. We're having two conversations on two different radio stations. <laughs> You'll have to join up. You'll have to swap cards at the end of it. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. I know they've started to approach people, but for yourself, who would you fancy to be on the show next series? Cecilia Ahern. <laughs> can we sort that out? She's a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> or Bertie Ahern. We never know. We can work on that. Um, or some. Some of the. I was saying to the guys there, some Euro 88 footballers would be good, like Ray Houghton or Packy Bonner. Or I'd love to see Roy Keane on it. That's not going, ever going to happen, though, is it? Um, but, but people like that would be great, you know. But again, the cast makes it, and whoever it is on the day. You know, they, they really gel together. Are you happy to see so many um, amazing females in the category as well for TV presenter? I really am, actually. I think Ireland has changed. There was a time when there weren't that many female presenters, but there's a lot of great female presenters. Now, we're up against stiff opposition with the men, not to mention Graham Norton, but look, <laughs> may the best woman win. <laughs> Where's the dress from? Simon O'Mahony, who's a fabulous Irish designer. I've worked with Simon for years, and I always like to support Irish on... A night like this, you know, so he's amazing. Love him to bits. And you have just had a baby girl and you look fantastic. Oh, uh, well, I I feel good, you know. I feel tired and wrecked uh, and all of that, but I feel brilliant. It feels great to be out on a night like tonight. And uh, just to be able to wear a designer like this, it's just like I'm, I, I'm, I'm so... I know I'm really lucky that I can call somebody like Simon to go, you know, I'm not back to my pre-baby weight. Um, it's my first night out. And he just takes a woman, looks at her, gives her a hug, puts her in something fabulous and makes her look amazing. So I'm delighted. Are there any soaps, Irish soaps, that you've been watching since you're a Holly Oaks girl yourself? No, I don't get Irish channels on my telly. But I have, I'm very interested in Derry Girls. Like, that is so funny. Oh, the cast are actually just behind you. Stop it. <laughs> Do not make me fangirl. I am cool, woman, I'm sophisticated, with a short haircut. I cannot... <gasps> you're nominated tonight for Best TV Presenter? Yeah. Up with lots of Cork people. There's Graham Norton who's going to win, and Matt Cooper, and myself who aren't. So yay! <laughs> do you think Graham Norton's going to do it? So I would say it'd be a travesty of justice if he didn't. Really, he's the best TV presenter in Europe, if not the world. I mean, he's hilarious. I mean, to be anywhere near, even being the same category, uh, category as him, I'm delighted. So yeah, it'll be cool. I was chatting to Nicky Byrne a while ago, and I was asking him what makes a good Eurovision entry, and he was like, "That is the hardest question ever," because he says every year it changes. You actually don't even know how to call it. Would you agree? Yeah, I'd completely agree. I think you can't beat a good song. As as long as it's a good song, it doesn't have to be... It can be in any genre, but as long as you can... Uh, as long as that song is just is just good, I think there's no... That's what I learned from the Eurovision. There's no way of calling what genre is going to win or um, or what style of song or what style of performance because um, it's, it's, it's open to everybody. And uh, this year, obviously, there was like the winner was like really out there and a bit of centric and, um, and stuff like that, so... You never really know. Congratulations on your nomination this evening. Very much, thank you. Some amazing ladies in your category, including Hilary Rose from The Young Offenders. Oh my God, what an extraordinary actress. All of them, I'm a huge fan of them all, like Sharon and Shayna Kerslick and uh, Saoirse Monica. They're amazing actresses. So for me, the joy and the honour is just even sharing that card with them is great. I can't wait to meet them. If you could do any celebrity's house, I heard you wanted to do um, a certain person from Mrs. Brown's boy's house recently. Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown. I'd like to do Mrs. Brown's house. Uh, who would I like to do? Anybody. Anybody who's got uh, who's a bit of crack, who's a bit of fun. Um, Daniel was... I, I didn't know how that would go down. Like that, that show just ballooned. I think the figures were nearly toy show figures. Oh, who would have known? Who would have, who would have known? But anyway, look, you just take... You, I don't worry about it. I don't worry about next year. Just take the projects. Make, do the best job that you can. If the audience likes it, they don't. If, they, if, if, they, if the audience likes it, that's brilliant. If they don't, pack your bag and you go back to the day job, don't you?